through the cathartic process of doing this ritual, you are changing yourself. You are setting the standard for how you want people to treat you. She will call it maybe a banishing or hexing or not really a curse, but just a return to sender, but like times a hundred. Just like, just like magic. Hey, what's up everyone? Minister Ashley here. I wanted to do this really quick video. Um, I initially had something else planned, but being that this actually happened today, I, I did the ritual today and I feel like I'm supposed to be sharing this. All right, so all you need is just a piece of parchment paper. You can use either a black marker or a red marker, depending on um, what you're gonna do and how powerful you want it to be. I would say red um, because of banishing, but also black is good for banishing and also um, hexing or removal, curse, hex, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, you can learn more about curses, hexes, all of that stuff, especially in the Bible with my uh, new book, The Bible's Hidden Divination and Magic on Amazon, Etsy, TikTok, Instagram. So I'm still in the glow of this ritual, so pardon my energy. So this ritual, it just came to me today. Um, over the last couple of weeks, I've been processing something, uh, some, some deep, hidden, reserved emotions, and I had not processed. Uh, for you guys that may have been a part of my ministry on FD 1111 Ministries, that channel. And when I first started out, I started off, started off with um, Twin Flame Soul Partnership messages using Tarot Bible and Alchemy. And um, so my twin re-entered my life and it just brought up a whole lot of extra emotions that I had to deal with from childhood on to this point. So I utilized this energy transmute it into power and power to deal with those deep hidden emotions i transmuted it into um the set new standards to remove to pretty much have uh retributions given back to me in some form or, or, or fashion and the way how i did this is i guess you would call it maybe a banishing or hexing or not really a curse but just a return to sender but like times a hundred and um, so basically what I did is that um, I did first a black candle, a uh, black candle. So anything that you have that is hot, spicy, you may hear my children in the background. They're on vacation, just came from out of school, but I have to do this. So you take a black candle, if you have a white candle, whatever candle you have readily available. And if you know about color, colorology, um, red would probably be better or either black. But you can take a white candle. You can take really any candle and really transmute it in your mind um, with symbolism. If you have not checked out my video about mental magic, um, it deals with the, the energy or the archetype of Mercury, but you can transmute it in your head. So whatever you have readily available. So I use a black candle and anything spicy that you have in your house, um, red peppers, cloves, cinnamon, not cinnamon and sugar, because you don't want to sweeten it, but cinnamon, hot pepper, cayenne pepper, anything that's spicy. You can dress the candle with that. Um, even if you want to add like anything that is just think this, something that will burn pretty much. And uh, so I did that, dressed the candle. I put all those, um, I put a clove, cinnamon, spicy stuff on there. And I just was so immersed in, in my emotions. That's the main thing. That's the main component is your emotions. You want to take the paper and you want to write down what you want to project back to the person. What, what pain they caused you, but you want them to feel it one time, two times, ten times, a hundred times what you feel okay um so another way how to look at this is even if it doesn't necessarily affect the person to that magnitude you still are taking that energy off of you and putting it into the ritual and it's going and it's being burnt off so regardless you're going to feel a lot better it's going to be out of your system okay so you could take and write this out onto this paper as the candle is burning what i did i made first i made a sigil uh, with my intentions, I made this visual. I placed it under the glass. Um, <laughs> I can't really show you now because I already did it. But I placed it under the, under the glass, and then uh, I had some uh, seals of seals of Solomon with the 
fourth through seventh pinnacle of Mars. I didn't have the other pinnacles of Mars, but I utilized those and each one of those correspond with the Psalms. Um, I didn't really use the Psalms. What I used, I used just, <coughs> excuse me, I used just this and wrote down exactly how the way I felt, what I wanted them to feel and to the magnitude I wanted them to feel. And it works, it works, okay? So I feel a lot lighter. I think I probably have to do this a couple times more but um it definitely will lift a lot of that energy off of you and like i was saying either it goes into the ethers and it's absorbed there and it's the burden is off of you or either it will actually go to the person and i definitely do believe that they will they will definitely feel it if they I, actually i know that they have felt it i've gotten confirmation actually when i first did a different type of ritual this one is actually a ritual the other one was just like an exercise i just needed to get it out um, when I first initially was triggered, I needed to get it out. I just took regular paper and just put it down on paper. And I already had confirmation from several people that I projected this energy to that they felt it. So I know that they felt, they felt, and they will continue to feel this, what I'm doing. The results of this is as it, it, it burned and then the glass cracked. And the whole thing is like whoosh, right on up. Uh, yeah, so I definitely know that they are feeling it and they will continue to feel it. I also added in to my my little, I guess you would call it a petition. I don't know what to exactly call it because it wasn't really necessarily a petition. It was a cathartic exercise that how the way they are going to treat me. And it also is an exercise for yourself because remember everything is about the self. You may have put up with people's BS, their treatment, their toxic treatment. Through the cathartic process of doing this ritual, you are changing yourself. You are setting the standard for how you want people to treat you. You are setting the standard with the universe on which you will accept. You're moving the emotional and psychological dial from lower values, morals, acceptance to high values morals and acceptance especially if you are a person that gives respect to people that you deserve that respect back and then some okay so i hope this video was helpful it was unorthodox but i felt like i was supposed to be sharing it okay this is the following day i forgot to mention you guys about um planetary hours so ironically, I intuitively felt um, to do this, start this ritual. And I happened to look down to see, you know, check the planetary hour. And it was during the planetary hour of Saturn, but it was on a Friday. And Friday is ruled by Venus, which is relationships. And it was in the hour of Saturn. And Saturn is about restrictions. It's the beginning and the end. Um, it's about uh, creating strong boundaries as well as building something over time. People also do dark magic during Saturn or the hour of Saturn. So this could also be like um, clo cloaking yourself so that people can't tell exactly where the attack came from or where the energy, the information um, may have came from. Being that it was the day of Friday, and these are still people, some of them are still people that I have relationships with, and I still want to improve those relationships. I'm just need to burn off some of that frustrating energy and some of that um hindering energy so being that it was the day of friday these are relationships these are relationships that are long-term relationships and saturn is about longevity and i have a lot of activity happening in my relationship houses as well as longevity and um building rebuilding relationships in the way how i communicate and receive relationships and interact with people that I have to relate to. Another tip is to use planetary hours um, to utilize the days of the week. Very basic days of the week. I could do another video about, well, I could do a video about the days of the week and how they can correspond in your rituals and in your magical practices and how you can utilize those energies. Don't forget my book, Oracle Deck. Check out the other channel. I'll talk to you later. Peace.